Less than a month until the total solar eclipse, experts are warning to make sure that you have proper eye protection to enjoy the view. 13 Wham's Daniel Finkelstein spoke with a local eye doctor about the risks involved and joins us tonight. Daniel, good evening. Good evening, Stephen. Don't look up unless properly protected. Local experts say looking into the eclipse with the naked eye can have painful and long-lasting consequences. Here at Cornerstone Eye Associates, doctors are educating patients ahead of the eclipse. Look to your left. Dr. Priya Gupta says people need to be aware of the risks of unsafe viewing. Photokeratitis, almost like a sunburn of the cornea, causing redness and eye pain. Solar phototoxicity, or retinopathy, resulting from prolonged exposure to the sun's rays, causing blind spots and blurry vision. If we were looking for any signs of solar retinopathy, it would typically show up in this area. The front of the eye, which is the cornea, um, can be, especially the top layer of the cornea, or the epithelium, it can be really susceptible to um, this type of energy and this high, high amount of energy, as well as the retina, which is, and unfortunately the retina is a little bit less hardy than the, the cornea, which can often regrow, but the retina does not. Dr. Steve Park says after enough exposure, you can pass the point of no return. There's no fix. There's no cure. So the game is in prevention. Both recommend certified eclipse viewing glasses like these, which meet this standard set by the International Standards Organization. Dr. Park says it's important to make sure there are no scratches that could let in light and to never use other devices in front of them that could weaken their effect. You need something this strong to protect the eye. So sunglasses is not going to work, uh, or binoculars or um, multiple pairs of glasses on top of your eye is not going to be, uh, uh, be adequate. And we'll have more information on how you can make sure your glasses meet those safety standards on our website, 13wham.com. Stephen?